everyone, welcome back to Kyra Mox. I'm here on this Friday talking to you about five ways that you can boost your brand's awareness. Of course, when I say your brand, I'm actually talking about your chiropractic practice. Um, so there's a lot of ways to boost your brand and you've probably been doing a lot of them, um, but today I wanna to focus specifically more on the digital side, which is what we focus on here at Kyra Mox. So while you might already be attending trade shows and creating merchandise type things like pens with your name on it, those are all good ways to get out your brand name. Um, but these are some more digitally focused uh, type events that I wanna go over with you right now. Here's my top five. Number one, host or sponsor an event. Okay, the first thing you're gonna say is that's not a digital type thing. Okay, yes, I agree with you, but this is a good opportunity to bring um, photos and videos captured at that event um, onto your digital presence and expand your digital presence online. So this creates good content for social media, um, for YouTube, for Instagram, um, for your website itself, for your blog, um, and also you can create hashtags that correlate to your event and um, exponentially grow the awareness of your practice just through that, especially if the event takes off, um, is well attended, well put together, and somehow correlates to your practice. Number two, kind of in relation to number one, which is that you should back a cause and promote giveaways. So. The, those two pieces within number two, I kind of tried to combine them, but they can also work se separately. Um, backing a cause, this is a good opportunity to get out in the community and give back, but then also um, boost your brand awareness at the same time. Of course, you don't want to do it just to promote your brand awareness because there's a lot of good causes out there that need promotion, um, but it's a side benefit that you can capitalize on. And if you tie a giveaway to that cause that you're backing, you'll help that cause even more and create more buzz around your practice and the brand of your practice. Um, and also, you can promote giveaways in relation to your event that you're sponsoring. For instance, if you are having a um, birthday celebration, whether online or a real one in office, uh, you could also have some giveaways, free x-rays or free complimentary uh, first consultation, something like that. Um, and that usually helps brand awareness to increase all the more. Um, although make sure that you're not creating such a good giveaway that people aren't even really interested in your brand, they're just in it for the free stuff. Um, so you still wanna get that qualified lead, someone who is already interested, but a, the right amount of a giveaway that'll have him or her take that next step and come into your practice. Number three is social advertising. I feel like I don't even have to talk about this one because we spent the whole content series, last series, talking about social advertising. So, if you have any questions on this, refer back to our last content series. I'll leave links on the screen so you can get to it easily, and I'll leave it in the description box below. Okay, so then number four, use guest content. Another name for this is influencer marketing. So, I wanted to specifically say guest content because you don't necessarily need to use an influencer. Uh, that can get expensive um, because a lot of times the influencers charge a lot more than, say, if you just use guest content from another chiropractor in your area, or maybe not in your area, maybe someone that you just um, have a working relationship with across the nation and you are going to raise awareness in each other's markets um, just by guest posts. However, if you do have the opportunity to use an influencer, uh, that, that can pay off quite a bit for creating brand awareness. Um, but I would want you to talk to us about it first and make sure it's the right opportunity for you. So if you have any questions on that, don't hesitate to reach out. I left number five for last because how ironic that I am talking to you about filming videos while I'm filming, filming a video for you. Uh, videos are a great way to expand your brand presence digitally. So they have a long life. 
Uh, you can post a video and three years later, if it's good content, someone will still be visiting it. Um, you can post it on YouTube, you can post it on your website, you can post it on your blog, you can post it on Facebook. So there's many different places for this content to live and on each of those homes, you're reaching a different audience. So, and that's besides the fact that video is just extremely popular right now and is a great way for people to catch people's attention and drag their attention to your practice. Those are my top five ways to boost your brand influence. Um, we have more suggestions. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about this on the blog. Um, this last week we did, so check it out at kyramarks.com backslash blog, and then also in the coming weeks, so make sure you keep checking back. Uh, stay tuned next time. We'll be back in one week for another, another video. See you then. Bye.